all right welcome back to a new video i hope you guys are doing well and today i want to show you guys how to design this really cool looking notification the corners are quite round we have a very nice gradient button here let's jump straight into it if you want to check out amazing templates check us out at gfxcomment.com if you hit get all templates right here which will basically give you every single template that we have in here currently as well as all future templates for free just click right here and you can see thank you guys and i hope you enjoy this video i'm going to start with a new layer by clicking right here i'm going to go to my rectangle tool for the fill color let's click on the color box and select on this background color 1a2539 i'm going to hit ok and for the corner radius think 35 let's try it out let's wait a little let's do 50 and then i think 50 should work just fine let's make sure the sizing is correct i'm just going to move this right here all right this is our background or let's call this the main actually Let's make a new layer and now we're going to make the button first so back to the rectangle tool and for the corner radius we're going to drop this down let's try 35 it's maybe a bit too much let's just create the shape first let's try 25 yeah yep i think 25 should work let's try 30 all right it's perfect. Now let's change the color to white. Now I want you guys to hold control. Click on the icon of the main layer right here. You should see this little icon pop up. You just want to click. And selecting rectangle 1, our button, use the move tool. We're going to hit the horizontal center right here to bring this button right here. Just go to select and hit deselect. Now we're going to right click and let's apply gradient overlay. Let's go ahead and change the first color, um, this color right here, and also this blue color. Right. Now I'm going to change the angle to this. Let's go to right here. Looks pretty good. Let's add your shadow with the color white and the settings right here. Move the opacity to 20. All right, it also seems like there's a very slight drop shadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that as well. It's very, very slight, it seems. It's right there. There's also a small little glow, but we can add that uh, after. Let's just hit OK. And we use our text tool. Let's go ahead and type out our text. So this can just be OK. It can be anything you want. Let's go this down. And also, if you guys notice, the text over here has a little drop shadow as well. So we can also go ahead and, and uh, add that. Make sure you change the angle and spread and size. We're gonna adjust these values until they look good. Huh? Um, three, not two. I'm gonna go to the color and make this a darker kind of shade. So sort of like this right here. Next, let's go ahead and add the main text. We can just copy this text because it also has the drop shadow uh, effect and use a line to the left side. We're also going to enlarge the text or we'll just go over here. I'm just gonna type mail confirmed. Let's resize. All right, now let's go ahead and add the close button it's very simple. Let's use the ellipse tool. 
go ahead and draw out our shape and move this over and change from fill to stroke oops okay right there and lower the radius like three should work just fine all right let's go ahead and i'm going to use stroke and change the color to this we're also just gonna grab our text remove the effects lower the font weight and select on the same color that we're using here okay all right now we're gonna save the icon and effects for last let's go ahead and add the description so we're gonna grab this text once more all right now we're just going to type out the subtext and obviously the text here has a different color all right i think this looks pretty good and now on to our icon i will start off let me use icon date this is a plugin uh it's free the effects are quite simple we can go for color and it's also in shadow right there and we have a drop shadow as well which is like a dark green kind of color and behind it we have a circle boom this will just be green and we're gonna, and we're gonna add In the shadow, color green. Now, basically, let's take this layer, right click, hit rasterize layer, we take our eraser tool. I'm just gonna go ahead and also right click rasterize layer style. We're just gonna erase the top, like so. Back layers as well. Uh, let's place this here. It's rasterized so we can erase this too like so all right so I just grabbed a little confetti texture I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna cut out some of these uh, smaller pieces or just any ones I can find really I'll take this and filter blur Gaussian blur and lower the opacity to like 55. I'm just gonna duplicate this. Rotate. Place it like right here. Erase. That's the point. These bits and pieces. Change the color. And yeah, there we go. Let's take a look at how. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, I almost forgot the very, very subtle glow. It's very simple. We're just gonna take this button, make a copy, rash rise layer, rash rise layer style, filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Just go for 10, lower the opacity to like, uh, 25 is good, or 35, 30. Okay, and as you guys can see, here we have a very nice looking notification UI. I hope this helped. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was uh, this was quite simple. But if you guys enjoyed this kind of video, make sure to hit the like button and also check out our store at gfxcomment.com. Thank you all for your support and I appreciate every single one of you guys. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.